In this tutorial, I will show you how to import a file and save the import settings as a theme. Import multiple files using the saved theme. Integrate peak data and save settings as a theme. Then repeat this analysis for multiple files using batch processing. We begin by creating a theme for importing the data files. I first need to import one file, so I click the Import Single ASCII button. I now select the file. And then I make sure the Show Options dialog checkbox at, at the bottom of the dialog is checked. Click Open. In the Import Settings dialog that opens, I expand the Header Lines branch. so that I can specify the first header line to long name and the second to units. I'm then going to collapse that branch and expand the renaming branch. I want to set the sheet name to file name and also save the file name to the column comments. We're going to save these settings as a dialog theme. So I click the flyout. I choose save as and enter a theme name. Click OK. Click OK again. The data is imported. Notice the long name, units, and comments label rows are all filled according to the settings I just made. We'll highlight the B column create a scatter plot using the plot type button at the bottom. I'm now going to select analysis, peaks and baseline, peak analyzer, open dialog. We will use this dialog to perform peak integration. So the first thing we need to do is set that as our goal. Click Next, where we can change our baseline mode to None. Click Next again. The data is noisy, so we're going to set the local points in the Peak Finding branch. We're going to set that to 10. There's just one peak here. We want to find just that one peak. Clicking Find, it finds the peak. We click Next again. After noticing the current number of peaks is 1. We click the Next button. The Integration window width is set to Auto. We're going to check all the quantities all the checkbox in that quantities branch. We're going to output everything possible. Continue checking. We want the half width, the peak centroid. Before we finish, we're going to again save these settings as an analysis theme. Give it some name in the dialog. You can click OK, and then 
we can click Finish to perform the peak integration. It will also output the results to a new worksheet. So if we go to the workbook where our data is, there's an integration result sheet that was generated, and we can see all the output parameters. All the quantities have been computed and output here. So let's go ahead and start a new project. And what we're going to do now is import multiple ASCII files. In the dialog that opens, hold the Shift key to select multiple files. Shift click, and then you can click the Add Files. Make sure Show Options dialog checkbox is checked. You can click the file name column header right below that, and that will sort the list of file names. Click OK. In the Options dialog that opens, we're going to load in that theme. So click next to Dialog Theme and choose the previous theme file we saved. The settings saved with that theme will be used to import each data file. What we do need to specify here is how we want each file to import. So we want new sheets in the same workbook. Click OK. You'll see all data is imported. A new worksheet where the worksheet name is the file name for each of the files. Now begin by not highlighting anything in the worksheet. This will ensure that Plot Setup opens. Choose Plot, Multi-Curve, Stack Lines by Y Offset. Origin doesn't know what we want to plot, so the Plot Setup dialog opens, where I can choose the data that I wish to plot. We're going to select all the worksheets, so Shift Select All the Worksheets. We're now going to specify which column to plot as X and which to plot as Y. We're showing the columns that are common among those files. They all have the same columns there. Now when we hit Add, you're going to notice that it will add from each of the selected worksheets. One way to easily plot data from multiple sheets. Click OK. The plot shows how the data changes from one file to another. Notice the file name is in the legend. You can see that the peak shifts to the right, the width increases, and the height decreases. We're now selecting analysis peaks and baseline batch peak analysis using theme. We're going to do this to perform batch analysis of all of our data plots. We need to select Add All the Plots in Active Layer as our input. We've already saved a theme for one of the files, so we need to load that theme in. Those are the settings we're going to use. How do we identify each set of data? We're going to do the sheet name by sheet name, which remember was the file name. When we click OK, we can basically just sit back now. All data sets are analyzed one by one. If we go to the Results workbook, there's one row for each data file. Column A is the data set identifier, which has been set up to use the sheet name. And remember, sheet name was file name, and we specified that on import. We're going to create a plot of the results. We need to do some formatting here. We're going to change the column designations. So let's right-click on the first column and set that to be an X column. And then we're going to set our second column, our Y column. Well, we're going to set that actually as a Y column. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plot three columns of data. So we hold down the Control key, selecting full width, half max, center, and height. We can then choose the plot menu and select multi curve stack.
check the auto preview checkbox so you can see a preview of the graph before clicking OK. The stack graph shows how the peak center width and height change from one data set to another. We're going to do some formatting here to make this graph more suitable for publication. To do that, we're going to rotate our tick labels, our bottom axis tick labels. So if you double click on the labels, that will bring up the axis dialog. And then we can set the rotation to 90. And now we don't need the ones on top, so let's just select the top axis tick labels. Once they're highlighted, you can press the delete key to delete them. All the data has been analyzed. And again, from the stacked graph, we can see that the width increases the temperature, the center shifts to the right, and the peak height decreases with temperature. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.